Just a quick video to show you how to do standard deviation and a five number summary on your calculator. You want to go ahead and press the stat button on your calculator. Um, here you're going to go to edit. Then if you have anything in your lists here, you want to clear them out. The way that you clear them should go up to L1 and hit enter. Or I'm sorry, clear and then enter, but mine are actually already cleared out. Here we want to enter in our data. Let's just use a random sample here, two, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. And let's say we want to find the standard deviation of that set of data and the five number summary. What we're going to do now is hit the stat button, go over to calc, and then do one variable statistics, which is your one button here, hit enter. And we do want it to be on list one. Yours may not actually bring this particular um, screen up. This is only for the TI-84 pluses. Yours actually may just paste it straight onto the um, screen. If that's the case, you're just going to press enter. I'm going to hit calculate. And what you'll see here is it gives us a several different values. Um, X bar, that's your mean. So for this particular data set, this is 5.28. Um, this is the sum of all your data points, so this is like the number we divide by when we're finding the mean. Um, your standard deviation, if you want to figure that out for the sample, would be the 1.98. Um, that, that's the one you want to use for my math lab. Um, occasionally you have the entire population and that's what the sigma of x is, is your, is your standard deviation for the population. But for our purposes, we want the standard deviation just for the sample, and that's what we're going to be using. Now you can see there's an arrow key here. We want to move down by hitting the down arrow. And then this actually, um, if we keep going down, will give us our um, five number summary. You've got the minimum, the quartile one, median, quartile three, and then we have the maximum. So we actually now have all five number summary there as well. So you can find the median and your quartile one and quartile three here as well.